Just tonight is Minister Nati Mtetwa. He is the Minister of Arts, Culture and Sports. They've just added more work to his uh, portfolio. Minister, congratulations on your new appointment. Thanks, uh, thanks, CJ. That, 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 this must mean you did well on, on, on arts and culture because, you know, arts and culture is always seen as a, as a cousin, man. You know, they, they, you know, if they give it to you, it's like, okay, just until they give you something else. And here they now consolidated with sports, which I think is, a, is quite an important development. I mean, that, that must please you because now at least you've got now a broader, if you like, array of things that actually connect together that must uh, be taken out there to strengthen our economy. Uh, absolutely, JJ. The, <clears throat> both uh, segments of the new department now mm. uh, are very much in line with the mandate we have, mm. the mandate of social cohesion mm. and nation building. There is no space uh, strategically located in any society than this space of sports, arts and culture uh, to talk to the conscience of the people, to talk to the identity of, it, of the people, to talk to their unity. Um, so we, we, it's an expanded mandate, uh, but on a very forecast line yeah. of, of, of unity of our people. No, wonderful. I look forward to more conversations about that and how, what, do you, what your own plans are over the next five years to try and get you know, some traction. Every Thursday, we invite a lot of uh, artists and, and, and people in the arts here to talk about the arts and so on. And there's a, there's a constant theme of, how can I put it, disgruntlement. Let me put it bluntly, right? And I want us to get that out of the way now. The city president, a big splash. I think, I'm sure you have seen it. Uh, it's a very long article. You, I needed uh, three sessions to read it properly, you mm -hmm. know? Talking about something called the... The, the, the Mzansi's Golden, Golden Economy. Economy. Just launched by Paul Mashadili, if my uh, uh, recollection uh, serves me well. Mm -hmm. And even as it was launched, there was already all kinds of rumors about it being misused and the funds being embezzled and what. And I want us to deal with some of the things that were raised there. Firstly, uh, 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 the, the, the whole issue of the criteria for award of certain, uh, of, rather, of, of access to those funds, right? If somebody's listening out there, and they've been worried about how to access, you know, funds that are meant for arts and culture development, right? What would you say to me about it from a point of view of criteria and also process of, of, of selecting people uh, to actually uh, access those funds, Minister? Well, uh, initially, uh, when it was established, mm. uh, the Mzansi Golden Economy, it was mainly for strategic projects. Uh, mm. That is... Uh, project with the uh, uh, high value, mm. uh, as it were. Um, and uh, you, you, you'd notice from there that it means then that you are going to have very few of those, which will have a high impact mm. uh, value in society. But as things go uh, proceeded, uh, it was clear that the, the, the access to funding is so huge, the hunger is so huge. Mm. You cannot only confine to what we call flagship programs, like yeah. the big ones, you know, of Jazz, Makufe, the Cape Jazz International Festival, and so on. Mm. We then uh, decided, no, look, look let's, let's have this MGE to be everything to everybody. Uh, find somebody who's in the township, in a village there, and so on as grants uh, and, and, and have different, uh, you know, uh, uh, sections of it where you deal with touring ventures and so on and so forth. So it has been like that and it has been very effective in reaching out to the length yeah. and breadth uh, of the country. I saw the article we are talking about, yeah. very dangerous article because it uh, uh, insinuates yeah. uh, some tribalism on the part of the department, obviously led by the minister, yeah. uh, who come that you are, from KwaZulu yeah, Natal. Yeah, so you are giving the uh, Zulus and, uh, uh, more, more my, funding. In my, I'm sure you could disprove that by simply publishing the list of, of the projects and, 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 and so on. Did you, did you respond to the city press? I didn't see the response well, in this the, past the, weekend. That's why, you know, this whole thing about the lack of integrity Mm. to some of the media houses and journalists mm. becomes true. Immediately, we, we gave um, an next chance to that. 
mm. 10 pages of annexures. Sure. I counted 150 beneficiaries. Yeah. That's not all, you know, from all over the, the, the countries. Yeah. They decided to pick whoever they picked and, 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 and slanted yeah. uh, their reporting the way they did. So my, my office and the department has been saying, no, let's go to the ombudsman and so on. Yeah. And I've been reluctant. Uh, because I had a nasty experience, you know. Even at the ombudsman? Yes. You had a nasty experience? In the past, yes. Uh, where uh, a lie was peddled that I've employed three of my sons in the department. Something yeah. very easy to find. So when I complained to the ombudsman... They, they didn't uh, entertain you? And, uh, well, the, the department this time around decided to go ahead despite my misgiving. And they yeah. said, no, it's a new situation. There are new people and so on. But sure. we want to take that on because it's a very damaging and dangerous reporting. Yeah. Reporting has to be fair. You don't have to like me yeah. because uh, you would know, JJ, there are people who have been campaigning so hard uh, to say that the Department of Arts and Culture then should be led not by a politician. Yeah. Uh, and they elected themselves. But, but by uh, a musician. Uh, yeah. to, but to you lead. can appoint a DG who's a musician. Well, uh, because a politician will always be there, but you could appoint a DG who is, when I say musician, I'm, I'm just in broad terms, I'm saying somebody who is yeah. steeped in the arts. And, and somebody yeah. as officials and so on and so forth. Yeah. But the issue of the political hate yeah. is the matter of the president. The president yeah. But I am where I am now, I'm, I'm comfortable that. We go ahead with this ombudsman uh, 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 yeah. complaint and, and take it from there. Okay, I know you're going to go ahead with that, but I wanted to, because there were a number of other things that I wanted to probe within, within the context of that article, mm. if, if you could indulge. Yes, me. yes. One of the things that you, 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 you've raised very strongly since you got into office, and I remember I was at one event where you launched this thing about legends. There's something called the legends. Yes. Fans and so on. Yes. You, the living legends. The living legends. Yes. You gave those people 10 million rand and you said, you know, if you spend it well, we'll, we will even add this is not the last and so on. And now that article says 8 million of that money went missing. And there's a chap uh, 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 who, who was actually charged for it and so on, which will really look very bad on your books because this is happening under your watch. What can you tell me about that? Was, is it true that uh, so much money just disappeared? from uh, such an important fund? Well, it was out there in the media, uh, uh, JJ. Mm. When, when I heard about that, uh, my answer to it is that let the law enforcement agencies take control of the situation. It must yeah. be reported uh, and so on. But remember that the, the, the living legends, uh, first and foremost, these yeah. are the legends uh, whose uh, responsibility within arts and culture is to impart skills and knowledge to the younger generation. Yes. Uh, is to run master classes, and they've yeah. been doing that. Now, what happened then is that the, they are chairperson they elected. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Msoum. Welcome, Msoum. Yes. yes, was then found to have, uh, uh, you know, find his way into the bank and, 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 and withdrawn money of the living legends. That's, that's the allegation sure. which is out there. But, but that may but what, the, the control and, and it has, it, No, it has been, yes, it has been in the public, but one question which has not come about... And he claims to be innocent of all the charges. Well, let's see. The, 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 yeah. the proceedings are there. One question which has never come from yeah. the public, how did he manage yeah. to get hold, to access those finances? By himself. By himself. So much what money. Was the role, what was the role of the bank, for instance? In well, that, I mean, the bank, the bank uh, you know, is controlled by how, if, if we are an NGO and in our constitution it says the chairperson can sign a loan, the no, bank no, is no. going to... No, no, no. It's three people who sign. Three signatories. It's three signatories. And yeah. in fact, are, you if, saying, if, are you saying theoretically or are you saying for sure? For on, sure. On this in particular fact, area. On this one. In fact, uh, it says that if it's not, if um, not all of them are there, at least two of two them must sign. Uh, yes. should be there. Like normally so it should be. Yeah. But uh, that's, that's where it is. The, it, it's, a, it's a setback yeah. for the living legends. Uh, and the, no, it's and a disaster. And the good if, it, work, if it's eight out of ten million, it's a yes, total disaster. And the good work they've done uh, so far uh, in ensuring that uh, there is that uh, cross-generational 
interaction and, po and pollination yeah. between them and the younger generation, which we have started seeing, you know, a result thereof and seeing young people um, taking yeah. on some of the work uh, the legends have yeah. I want to get this golden uh, economy thing out of the way so we can get into some of the futuristic things. But what is your own role? Because there's always this thing about whether politicians are too close, especially where fund funding is concerned, you know, mm. or, or too close to where the, the monies are being dished out, or they may come with their own favorites. Uh, 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 you know, and, and this has nothing to do with Kwazulu or whatever, it just has to do with the fact that somebody could say, the minister on this one says, I want you to fund X. You can, as while you are at it, explain the Mambazo funding, that the Mambazo funding that relates to them recording a, 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 what, recording a CD with Jacob Zuma. Because when I looked at it, I said, but this sounds like a double DP it, because even the Tequini municipality apparently was spending on this. But you'll talk to me about that. No, you, no, you, you got it. Yeah, Actually. talk to me about that after the break. I'm going to go oh, into okay. a break. All right. I thought that we should allow you to think clearly right. about that one so that we can get on to other more interesting things. We're talking to Minister Natim Tepe. He's a minister of arts, culture, and sports. I'm still coming to, for him to tell me about Bafana, Bafana, Bayana, and, and the netball and the women's league. That's coming towards the end.